We think these druids were e eating the flesh, so sometimes it'd have like a hallucinogenic effect. So this is uh, ricinus communis, and this is also known as castor oil plant, which sounds like quite a harmless kind of plant. But from seeds you get castor oil, but you also get ricin, um, which is one of the most deadliest poisons um, that we have. There's no known antidote, and if you got it into your body, what would happen is it would go into your cells and stop them from making proteins. Um, so it literally just destroys your cells. Probably the most famous case of someone being poisoned with it is um, in the 1970s. A Bulgarian um, writer and journalist was actually assassinated by the KGB in London. And how he did that was, uh, he was this assassin was walking past him and he had an umbrella and at the top of the umbrella, he had changed the top of the umbrella that it could inject ricin into him as he was walking past him. Um, and that's how he poisoned and assassinated him. One seed could kill, have enough ricin in it to kill 40 adults. This plant is a datura. All parts of the plant are poisonous. And what it will cause if you ate some is, um, it could cause you to relax, or it will cause um, hallucinations, delirium, uh, and then maybe a deep sleep or a deadly sleep. It's, it's a bit of a, a problem one in, in America and South America, because it's um, used, uh, they make it into a powder, and they um, blow the powder into faces of, of unsuspecting people, like tourists, and then they, they kind of relax, and they don't realize they're being robbed things like that so it's a bit of a problem plant but it, it does look quite beautiful actually when it gets these lovely white flowers but uh, it is quite quite a dangerous plant. The plant behind me is called monkshood. It's also known as uh, wolf's bane or woman's bane or aconitum. What would happen if you ate any of it is it would uh, slow your heart rate down and it would actually stop your heart if you ate enough of it. Traditionally it's associated with werewolves, so it's said that if you eat it, um, you could turn into a werewolf. It's been used in, in medieval times uh, for chemical warfare, so it was used to poison water supplies um, for, um, of castles under siege. They say never to plant it in a vegetable patch, because the, the roots look really like potato roots or horseradish roots. There's lots of stories of um, people giving landlords up batches of potatoes with roots of monkshood accidentally uh, in it. These trees are yew trees, native Irish yew trees. It's thought that the pagan uh, priests, druids, would have worshipped them uh, around Halloween, particularly around Samhain and Halloween. Almost all parts of the plant are poisonous, except for the flesh of the, the berries. The seeds are poisonous inside, but the flesh isn't. But sometimes the poisons can come out and go into the flesh as well. So yeah, these, we think these druids were e eating the flesh, so sometimes it'd have like a hallucinogenic effect um, to predict the future and um, do uh, divination basically. There's a chemical you can get out of these trees called Taxol and Taxol is used now to treat uh, breast cancer, ovarian cancer and lung cancer so often a lot of very poisonous plants are used in small doses in medicine.